I've got it up and running on a dedicated laptop, and I gotta say, the Windows 8 experience is a lot smoother on an actual PC as opposed to virtualization, so make sure you're trying that out. Default, there's no graphics drivers installed pretty much in Windows 8. I mean, it'll support, it'll display on your display, but it won't have any good resolutions or anything. So by default, it was set to 124 by 768, the standard CRT monitor square resolution. So I installed the ATI graphics drivers for my laptop, expecting it to give me my 1280 by 800 that that laptop can support and look a little nicer. Well, instead, now every time you log in, or, or every time you're at the login or log out screen, it just kind of sits there flashing, and you ha and then it eventually, like, reset. And you have to type in your password quick enough and hit enter quick enough before it resets again, or it won't log you in and you'll just be stuck at this weird flashing screen. <laughs> There's now a new lock screen when you first wake your computer up from standby or open it up or whatever that displays an image and like the time and you can add apps that haven't been developed yet to display information on your lock screen. It's kind of similar to an iOS device. You can also now, it has the built-in feature to let you choose a background of your own for it, which is nice. And then the login screen shows your email account and you use your live account email and password to log into your account and your picture and it syncs your information to your account, much similar to if you've used Chrome OS. I thought that was kind of interesting. some comment about how I'm owning it up in Minecraft on Windows 8. However, it won't get past the Mojang screen and I've launched it three times. Yes, Java is installed correctly. It probably has something to do with Windows 8. So never mind. Mojang! First off, I gotta point out that this is a developer's preview. So, obviously the beta and the final version and the service pack is going to be a lot different than this version of Windows. However, it I still have some kind of mixed feelings about it. While initially it looks cool and crazy new and stuff to try out, I don't have the full experience because I'm on a tablet, but you know what, that's okay. It's still loaded with a, I mean it's loaded with a bunch of cool new features and stuff, but at the same time they're ones that, at least me personally, would never really use. Now, of course, once developers have apps that are functional or functional with the new UI, things will improve, but and there'll be stuff that I actually use. But at the moment, it's just kind of you know a bunch of extra features that aren't necessary. Um, and I mean that's okay. It's for what I expected when I heard Microsoft was making a tablet OS. They certainly didn't disappoint me. They did quite a good job. It's just not necessarily something. I see myself enjoying using on a daily basis without a couple like just changes in, in usefulness which I don't think can really I don't know and yeah <coughs> getting sick again god damn it um so what what is there there I mean Overall, I like it, the user experience and things like that, but all the features are just kind of there to show off and aren't necessarily anything useful. Again, it's a developer's preview. No one has developed apps for it yet. No one has really used it yet, but I don't know. <coughs> and it's not a desktop or laptop OS, really. It's more of a tablet OS, so me trying it out on here isn't going to give me the right experience. Like I said, not trying it out on a tablet. And... It's not even meant for desktops or anything, so my view on its usefulness, I guess, is kind of skewed. So yeah, Windows 8, probably the last video I'll make of it. Just wanted to show some more stuff off. Hope you enjoyed, and check out my channel for the rest of Windows 8 videos, because there's quite a